Apple dominates with its iPhone and iPads, yeah. and now your living room could be next, <laughs> with North Carolina playing a huge role. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Morgan Fogarty. And I'm Israel Balderas. Apple's data center in Catawba County was supposed to be housing iTunes services, but some in Wall Street have seen the facility, and they say, think bigger. What's funny is the amount of rumors that come out of this opportunity. As president of the Catawba County Economic Development Corporation, having Apple's largest data center up and running brings with it lots of buzz. Having that data available is going to drive a whole new world of opportunity, and we're trying to make it happen right here. And the town of Maiden could be ground zero for what one Wall Street analyst calls Apple's assault on the living room. And this data center could be the key to streaming movies to your home. The Netflix account, you can rent movies online and they snail mail DVDs to you. Earlier this week, financial analyst Peter Mizek with Jeffries and Company stirred the Wall Street rumorville by saying, quote, We believe Apple is about to launch a new video focused cloud based service. Netflix dominates this market, but Mizek believes Apple's data center could quickly help it compete. Wall Street calls this facility a super data center already at 500,000 square feet. There are plans to double that to a million. Wall Street believes this place will be used to take on Netflix because that's just too big to house only music files. You know, if you're going to take on Netflix, you're going to try to put them out of business, then certainly you would want to uh, to have enough enough uh, presence to do that. Bill Wagenseller is a real estate broker and owns land close to Apple's property. He took aerial video of the facility under construction and possibly getting ready to expand. Both Mysick and the Wall Street Journal said the video reveals Apple has bigger plans than previously believed. Where uh, iTunes did so much for them uh, with music, the TV and the movies is going to do way, way more business than just what iTunes has done. And keep this in mind, the Super Data Center just takes up one-third of 180 acres, and Apple owns another 70 acres along Highway 321. That has been rumored to be a great location for another Apple campus. I'm ready to, uh, to get the phone call and to proceed with building anything that they want. So for all the reasons just mentioned, Mizek reiterated its buy rating on Apple shares with a price target of $450. Today, it closed just above $332. Apple's quarterly conference call will be on April 20th, and you can bet they'll be asked about the data center in Maiden. We'll keep you posted.